Hey, what's up? Jacob here, and today I'm going to show you how you can paint side skirt coatings onto your pistons just like this at home by yourself. Let's do this. Go back, 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 back. So first things first, preparation is key. You got to start off with clean pistons. If you don't know how to clean your pistons really well, I'll link a video right here so that you can uh, learn to do that. The next step, which is recommended but not required, is to uh, place your pistons into an oven at 250 degrees for 30 minutes to make sure that you off gas anything that could cause a problem with uh, the coatings that we're painting on. The next step is to clean the surfaces to be painted with acetone and make sure that you only clean it with acetone with a clean rag and you do not touch it afterwards. You don't want to contaminate the surface and cause the coating that you paint on to eventually flake off. Next we need to use painter's tape to mask off all of the areas of our piston that we don't want to get sandblasted or painted with our side skirt coating. Also keep in mind that while you're applying this tape, you do not want to touch the surfaces that you're going to be painting because you're going to contaminate it and you need to go back through and clean it. Be careful if you do touch it and you have to reclean it, try not to touch the painter's tape with the acetone because it will drag painter's tape material onto the area where you're cleaning with acetone and you're going to have a bad time. Now for the sandblasting. This is a little bit specific and critical here. You need to make sure that you're not using something non-aggressive like glass. You need to be using uh, aluminum oxide or something similar uh, of a mesh size of 100 to 120. You need to make sure that it's aggressive enough to dig into the aluminum and create a surface that will be good for adhering this paint to. Also, don't forget to wear protective eyeglasses and some type of um, breathing protector. Next, using an air gun, you need to blow off the pistons and make sure that there is absolutely no material that can contaminate our coating. A mistake that I made was not replacing any tape that was loose. Make sure that you replace any of the tape that is loose and looks like it might flop around in the wind when you are painting it. This can cause contamination of our coatings. Now take your bottle of uh, Cerakote Micro Slick and shake the Fladoodle out of it. Make sure there is no way that it is not mixed 100%. This is the air gun I'll be using. I got it from Harbor Freight for around 20 bucks or so and it matches uh, what is required for painting this coating onto the pistons. Now make sure that piston to piston you're painting each one roughly the same amount. Also, make sure that you're not so close that you're drenching the piston because you don't want it to be dripping and running because you're going to get a really poor result at the end. And also, do several coats. That's what I did here. Uh, I painted front, back, let it dry, and then came back around for a second and third coat um, just to make sure that I get a relatively decently thick uh, coating for these side skirts. And once you're done, make sure that you are cleaning your equipment with acetone. I pour just a little bit into my gun, swish it around and spray it out. Now it's time to pull off this tape uh, while the paint is still wet. I let about 10 minutes go by until I pull this tape off. So when you're pulling the tape off, if you accidentally get a little bit of blast media onto the surface of your side skirt coating, it's not a big deal. Just leave it there until the coating is dry and then we'll take care of it. So let your pistons sit for about 24 hours so that the side skirt coatings can dry. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take quadruple aught, which is four zeros, steel wool, and we are going to buff the surface of our side skirt coatings. This will remove any of the blast media that was sitting on the surface when you pulled off the tape. Now when I'm buffing this, I'm going in a crosshatch pattern because when I'm working with engine parts, I like for things to have crosshatch patterns because it holds on to oil better uh, and I feel like that's going to happen here in this circumstance as well. Once you're done cleaning up the surfaces of the side skirt coatings with the steel wool, use an air gun to blow off any steel wool particles and uh, blast media particles that might be left over and then the pistons need an additional four days to cure the coatings. And now just look at these beauties. <laughs> all right, but in all seriousness, that's it. It's that simple. Nothing crazy about it. Just make sure that you wait your five days and they're ready to go. 
Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're getting value out of this content, leave a like and also leave a comment down below if you want to see something else or if you have any questions. And lastly, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thanks a lot and I'll see you guys next time.